you can see the float. You know, he's got it pulled down. All right, guys, we got a fish that's picked up the bait. He's swimming down river. It's cold weather, so these fish bite a little bit different than the cold. I think it's right in here. Yeah, we're right over top of him. I'm fixing to go spin the boat around. Should I hit him hard? Yeah, when it gets tight, hit him. There we go. Oh, yeah. I'm on a log. No, you're not. You got fish. Reel, you. reel down. Reel down, Don. Reel down. Reel down. Set the hook again. Set the cook. I'm on a log. Nope. You're fish. You're hooked up. Why does he come up so quick? Yeah. He didn't make the run yet. No, he just, that will cold water. Yeah, keep pressure on him. Another. He, he don't even know he's hooked. <laughs> the hell he don't. No, he don't. You don't think so? No, he don't know he's even on yet. That's the way, in this cold weather, they fight different. I'm gonna spin the boat around. You're just, you thought you were hung on a log, didn't you? <laughs> Solid. Whoa. I'm telling you, I got the bottom. Whoa. Holy moly. He's bigger than the other one. He's gonna break this rod. Nah, you got it. Holy crap. I'm gonna try to spin the boat around and keep him. I don't know if I should try to. I think let himself wear himself out a little bit. Yeah. Oh my lord. Ooh. Yeah, you just gotta let him do his thing. Yep, there's no there's no guiding him. Nope. I just gotta move the boat around to This round hooked you a good one this He's time. A big one, I think. Definitely pulling like a big one. Huh? Boy, they got some power, don't they? Yeah. Yes, they do. Oh, <laughs> it was funny. You thought you were hung on the bottom when you. <laughs> Yes, sir. Mid-November, Texas River Monster. Why do I want to come down here when it's hot and be sweating? Yep. All the other guides done setting and called it a year and they're done. And we're still catching fish. Don, you want to tell them where you're from and everything? Yeah, I'm from Northeast Pennsylvania, up near the Pocono Mountains. Yes, sir. Pennsylvania. You know, we catch these all the time up there. <laughs> Everybody's got their boat put away up there now. Yeah. Look at that. And that look at that rod boat yeah. up. I can't believe it. Yep. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my word. Look at this. He's gonna break something. Chris, he's gonna break something. Just hold on. Let him do his he's thing. He's gonna break something, I'm telling you. Don't jinx you. Don't Holy jinx. Holy Don't jinx Whoa. yourself. Just like hooked into a damn uh Whale, huh? It's big. Yep. Look at that rod bowed up. Oh my word! Look at that pin this reel. This could be a six-footer plus. Yep. That, oh my god! Yep. That pin's doing work. I can't believe these rods and reels can take this kind of abuse. Yep. Yeah, I use pin reels. That's a pin rod, actually. It's Cortland Master Braid line, Eagle Claw laser sharp hooks. I know that braided line is something else. I got it on my rods. Oh, whoa! Yep, you got a good fish here, Don. You think he's a six? Yeah, he's acting. Huh? Yep, he's acting like it. Oh. I mean, where could you beat a trip like this for nine ninety five? <laughs> right. Yes. Right. <laughs> Mr. Chris. I'm gonna spin the boat. Holy moly. I can't believe how he's bending this rod. We're almost to five minutes so far. You're kidding. That's a big fish. Oh. We hadn't even got to look at him yet. No. Not even a peak. The biggest other fish I've ever caught was a sturgeon. He was a little over five feet. It took him 37 minutes to get him. 
Yep. Look at this. Oh, Chris, I'm afraid to see what this looks like. He's shaking that head, too. Are you going to be able to pull him in the boat? Oh, yes, sir. And I can't even turn this by holding it by my hand. Just sort of lift up and get you a little slack and reel down. There you go. I need one of them cups. What's that guy's name? Jeremy who? Jeremy, yeah, exactly. Jeremy who? Oh, we seen. I seen a little bit of action there. Wow! Almost getting a look at him. I don't dog. want to let the line go loose. Just keep a little tension. This isn't going to come out of him, is it? No. Hopefully, we got him stuck good. Just, just go down a little bit and and lift up. That rod is loaded up. I knew when you set the hook the way the rod loaded up, it was a pretty good fish. Yeah, it was a log fish. It's taking all I can handle to haul them. Yep. This is what I call gar fishing. <laughs> yep. It is definitely you Last guys. Last year we struggled and struggled. We caught a couple, but nothing like this. 